Hi, my name is Tom Mavro and welcome to the Cut It TV training channel. The channel has been set up to provide easy to follow training tutorials in today's key media production software. Cut It itself is a UK based training company with over 15 years experience providing hands on training in media production. If you would like any further information about our training services, please visit our website at www.cut-it.tv or check us out on social media. I hope you enjoy the following tutorial. When you're dealing with video, the minimum unit for moving the playhead and for video is a single frame. With audio though, the minimum units for audio are either thousands of seconds or samples. You have the ability in Premiere Pro to go what's called subframe, i.e. go into a single frame and adjust the audio levels within that frame. To do this, you have to make a slight adjustment to how you view your timeline and adjust it so that it will allow you to use audio samples as its minimum unit. So at the moment, with its default setup, if I zoom in, zoom in, zoom in by hitting plus, I've now got to my maximum zoom level. So this is a single frame here. It's not letting me go beyond individual frames. However, if I go to the action menu for the timeline window, click on that, there is an option under there, show audio time units. If I click on this, that then displays audio samples as my minimum unit for the timeline. And if I continue to zoom in now as you can see that's letting me go right into the individual frame all the way down to individual sample level and make changes there now this is quite important if you have a pop or a click for example to get rid of because that pop or click might not be over an entire frame it might be within a frame it might be half a frame long and um, by zooming in using this method you can then go into that frame and keyframe out an area within the frame itself. It's going to add four keyframes there and just bring that middle section right down and that would actually dip that section there within the frame itself. One last thing to mention about the rubber band and keyframing in general is the default here is that you have a rubber band that deals with individual clips within a track. There is a way though of switching it so that the rubber band deals with the entire track. You go to the track control panel area for the audio track itself. You click on the show keyframes button here and you choose track keyframes and then volume. Now there's a single rubber band that adjusts the audio level of the entire track. And if you want to, you can keyframe that using exactly the same methods of as, as I've just described for clip keyframes. But now that's going to be fading up and down an entire section of the track itself over multiple clips. Mm -hmm. 